I don't know. Pregnancy might in my senses. I'm like spidey. I'm spidey. <laughs> Until then, guys. Baby, you know I don't pull out when we love it. Touch it and kiss it and lick it. No one's even your pennies or something now. My car, my crib. I'm shining with this gold grill. I can't give a fuck how you feel. And booty and them tatters on the ground. I'm sick of burning my blood. Empire, welcome back. Welcome to Mukbang, Mukbang, Mukbang. I'm Janicia. Voice Abby. In today's video, we have Buffalo Wings, Mukbang. Look at these. And uh, <sighs> we got a chicken sandwich. Yeah, a Buffalo Ranch chicken sandwich. Yummy and a lot of fries. So. Ooh, who's ready? If you guys are a part of the MG Empire, you guys want more mukbangs, and you guys want us to try your favorite food places, be sure to subscribe right now to become a part of the MG Empire, Road to 1 million, and also leave a comment down below which food places would you guys like us to try next. Also, give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys want us to do more of these. Let's get this video to 500 likes. That will let us know that you guys are digging these type of videos, you know? So, without further ado, Let's get, let's get to this. Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, we have a food plug, so all the information will be listed in the description box down below. Go check them out. If you guys want discounted food prices, hit them up for the food prices. We got food from Buffalo Wild Wings, and this is a humong humongous order, and you won't believe how much we paid for this. So, so this Buffalo Wild Wings order is courtesy from our food plug. So if you guys want your own food plug and want this type of humongous order at a discounted price, hit them up for the prices. Let's get a wing. I kind of snuck one already. Mmm. Got a little kick. It's hot. This is hot. Oh man. If you had one wing, you had them all. I just want to try this sandwich. Me too. Um, yes, it was courtesy of my plug. But Jen, you know, she set up for the food. So, I want to see with this first time chicken sandwich I had, how it tastes like. It's not bad. What you think? Uh, today is my cheat day. My cheat meal day. I didn't have a cheat meal last week, so. Well. Sandwich is actually, it's not, it's not bad. The sandwich is not Popeye's chicken sandwich, but it's good. It has um, onions, lettuce, and then the meat, and the, um, the ranch sauce. And a buffalo um, sauce too. It's hot. Mm. I don't like ranch. I don't like ranch like that, so I can't do that. Yo, stick some fries. Stick some fries in your sandwich. 
Yeah, it was something already in there. She ate anything this morning. So. I'm hungry. We haven't had wings in a while. That has been a while. I haven't had fries in a while. Like you guys, I've been on keto, so this is like guilty pleasure food for me. Like. Mmm, so good. What is your favorite foods? All right, do you like wings, fries, sandwiches? Yeah. Oh my God, I got ranch in my hair. Most people are gonna be like, I like pizza. Oh, I love pizza too. We were debating on like, should we do Domino's? But I wanted wings. Now, the only thing I like about my wings is when my sauce is dripping. You know? I should've got sauce on the side. You always supposed to get sauce on the side. I know. I'm not hip like you, baby. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna give you like little fun facts about us, okay? Okay, fun fact about me, we can t we can go back and forth, okay? Like it's um like a uh, a volley. Okay? Fun fact about me. I I can recite commercials. And I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Same facts about me, they probably didn't most likely know. That you can recite commercials. Mm -hmm. That's because she's the good in the house. Quarantine. If you if you want to. Um, I meant that was your first thing. I can recite commercials. You should be really proud of that. I am. It's a solid. I know the Colonial Pen Program commercial with Alex Trebek, like the whole entire commercial. I like to not. If you're 65, if you're 60, if you're between 65 to 80 or older, and you're looking for a life insurance plan, remember the three P's. The three what? The three P's? What are the three P's? The three P's on a life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you're going forward, a price that can increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 65 and I'm retired, but I used to be a smoker. What's my price? $9.95 a month. I'm 85 and retired. What's my right? price? <laughs> $9.95 a month for you too. <laughs> Okay, what's your fun fact? <sighs> My fun fact is that. Then no one knows about you, man. I like being a dad. Aww. That's very sweet of you. Okay. My, My fun fact. I can sniff baby Caden's diaper from all the way in the bathroom. It's just an instinct. Like no one else knows they had a dirty diaper, but I can smell him in another room and can tell like my baby needs to change. Like that's a talent. I don't know. Like I don't know. Pregnancy might in my senses. I'm like spidey. I'm spidey. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
country, he will always give that cultural respect just even trying the food out. I'm trying to get there. I'm a very picky person, but ever since keto, I have brought it, brought in my palate, my food palate, which I'm very impressed about. Because the old me, we just been eating fries, crabs, salmon, and that's it. You know? But I expanded. It's a big step for me. Okay. Fun fact about me. I wish I owned a bear. And not by owning, like, being inhumane and, like, oh, like, I know they belong in the wild. And That's I wish. A fun fact. For me, like I love bears, and I wish bears were. I wish there was a type of bear where you can have them at home, or like a miniature bear that never grows that is so cute, or just a bear that can not like it's not a wild animal, but you can have it a part of your family, and you can go camping and they protect you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So weird. Fun fact: I wish you had some drinks with this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get drinks. So I guess that was your fun fact, right? Yeah. Fun fact about me? I never went to a doctor's appointment without my mom, even to this day. It's a fun fact. I love my mom. Love you, mommy. <laughs> she said it, guys. But yeah, I'm a mama's girl. Are you a tembe? before like I would listen to music while I'm getting ready new music the only chance of me knowing new songs is going through Instagram and seeing people on their stories playing new, like songs like that but I don't listen to music such a mom can anyone relate you sucked man like I used to have like my my iPod is still full of <laughs> 2000 music and the last current song I probably have in my song that's up to date is probably like 2016. Because of me. I mean, 
Oh yeah, because I always got my music from you actually. When I car I car rides. She didn't steal my music. <laughs> I got you hip to some stuff too, man. Don't laugh. What? Alright, what's your next one back? Bryson's in my will. Well, will be in my will. But he would be considered my bit my 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 will. But his life expense expectancy is fifteen years, so not really. Why do you keep bringing it up? Practical. It's right like that you bring it up in his face. He's looking right at you. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, our life expectancy is about six sixty to. I mean, yours is like in the seventies, right? Well, you speak for yourself. Mm. I'm yeah. saying, as an average black man. Well, you speak for yourself. And someone your height, you know. Yourself. I'm just saying like Bryson really wouldn't get anything because he most likely would be gone okay I don't want to talk about this anymore I might cry Bryson it's like you're not going to be here forever that sucks man like why can't dogs live longer I don't understand and I don't want to be morally wrong and say like, can they come out with like a, like a, like a injection where they can get altered their life expectancy to live a little longer. <laughs> Bryson is in her face is like. He falling, he falling asleep like an old man. It's so cute. But like, of course, I wouldn't want anything that's not natural, growing in any human, um, any human or animal body. But it just would be nice for someone I'm so attached to that I think of as a family member she to live a little world. longer. She want a werewolves, world war Z dog, a zombie dog. Right? No, would he even be the same at that point? No. Another fun fact about me. When I go when I use the bathroom at night, I never flush. Because I don't want to wake baby Caden. Baby Caden has bionic ears. And I, I nurse him, so I'm not trying to be like mid sleep urinating and then next thing you know he wakes up and then that's like another fifteen minutes of feet no. So I don't flush. But you know who does flush? Anybody else that uses the bathroom after me. Because it's always flushed when I wake up. So. Babe? Any contact? I wish I had something to drink. <laughs> Alright, um. Another fun fact about me. That she don't eat all her chickens. Yeah, he's right. Like this. I might do. She disrespecting the culture. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact about me is. And Facebook kind of finds it gross. I don't know why. But I like to dip my pizza in blue cheese or ranch. Is that a thing for you? Because it's been a thing for me literally my whole life. I've been doing that ever since I was small. That is the best invention ever. Dipping pizza in blue cheese. I do blue cheese first as the first option. Rice is my backup when I forgot to get the blue cheese. Still tastes good either way. I'm a C-section baby like Hayden. But I have a battle wound to show it. And that was makes me a survivor. 
I got a scar on my right, the right, the back side, on my right side, on my back. It's a very traumatizing event. Can't remember it, but it was traumatizing. No baby should live through that, you know? No baby should go through that. But I did. And I survived it. place you know a safe warm place and it doesn't mean it could be hairy or bald I don't care I don't have a preference but that's a fun fact about me what about you babe any more fun facts Another fun fact about me, I love I love popping pimples, especially Manny's, because they're like so, they'd be like so big and juicy. Like, it's like a hate and love relationship, like, babe, hey, why did you let your face go this far? But, ooh, let me pop it. <laughs> it's just so exciting. <laughs> is so warm it does feel like a furnace guys it's like a warm teddy bear i love it volleyball 
won the championship game thanks to this girl right here. Hey, everybody was hyping me out. Oh, yo, that feeling. Hey, that's what I'm saying, Katie. You know, we're reminiscing stuff from. Like, you know what? Don't say the years. Everything I do. Me and him been competing you for four years. You never talk about basketball. Me and him. talk about. Well, yeah, your volleyball. Maybe. I'm trying, fact about Manny. I'm trying to think my theory is right. <laughs> Manny thinks he's my competitor. Right he literally. Always trying to compete with me and things, knowing that he's going to most likely lose. For instance, I eat. No, I don't. I'm humble. That's her. For some reason. We play Call of Duty with all his friends, which were my friends first. I grew up with them, and then he just tried to take to all my guy friends that were my friends first. But I, I, I mean, I'm not trying to tell your friends are not competition, but. I was always on top of the leaderboard. It was always me and you battling out on top of first, I was second. Babe, I when we did one v one v. I never was battling. I killed you how many times? One v one v. When we used to play on Call of Duty Black Ops days. <laughs> <laughs> when me and you used to play Call of Duty Black Ops days, just me and you when? in a private game. I never played with you in private. Game. Yes, we did. Back when you was in the basement days, bro, and I was in my room, bro. Xbox 360, bro. Black Ops 3, bro. One, two, and three. We talking about only time we was in a private lobby is when we had. No, when me and you used to talk we late had night. Everybody. No, it was just me and you, and I'd be like, "Babe, oh, let's practice. Let oh, me kill you." Oh. He was like, "Come, oh, man, I'm tired of killing you." That's what his words were always say. But he don't really be killing me like that. Like, like it be equal. What? It don't be equal. Babe, what world are you living in? Give me my recognition, or we say bye bye. bye. Babe, leave, bye. You're Cause you, no, you're disrespecting me. You're disrespecting Don't. You on my level. When you I work. will pull up the screenshots of your name and my name, in, and who's on in top. All the games that we play. KD ratio. In all the games. That top we score. Okay, so like, come on, bro. KD was not good for one. My KD is not good for who? For you or for compared to everybody else? Because compared to everybody else, I'm better than everybody else. I'm every time. Care. No, it's not. Every time when I'm entering a game, why am I always the one leading my team? I'm the one carrying my team and every both, single time. And both death and kills. Domination? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. How am I carrying it in both death and kills if I have a winning, if I have a kill streak? I'm getting my UAV. I'm getting my Mr. Strike. I'm getting a chopper. Like, I'm calling in all these kill streaks. How am I getting, how is it compared to my death and my kills? Stop lying. Tell the truth. You get three kills, then you two more kills, which is five. And then you get your your missile strike, you can get a double yeah, kill. Yes, that's the person that's you speaking from experience. Thank you. Do your double kill. I mean, because I mean, when you first play the game, that's what they typically give you. Bay. Which is a UAV, a missile, and a, and, a, and, a, and a chopper. Nah. What you said, nah. I'm talking about Any the kill streaks I'm talking about is the my kill streak be like it's, 10 it's plus. Just, thank you. It's the same kill streak. It don't Whatever, never be bro. no 10 plus And kills. this is why we always go head and head competing. Know, compete. competing. I, because the thing is, he never gives my recognition. I, I always have to prove him wrong you, every single time. No the last time we played pool, who won? I did. No, you didn't. I did. No. Pregnant and all. <sighs> this is what I mean. She don't. She because he's going to be like, he's going to be like, how did you win, babe? Because he win? hit the eight ball and it don't matter. How many balls did you have on the table? Babe, that's not what I said. I said who won the game. I didn't say who had a better skill. I said who won the game. That's how I know your ego gets into it because you're talking about like, how many balls are on the table. Because that's the truth. Okay, babe. Here, Kaden. 
Nada más voltea. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you. <laughs> you actually bit it. Aww. Can I get one, Kaden? Be my mama one. Yeah. Here. Uh. I just lost. Wow, why don't you treat me I'm like a princess? Here. You know who's the true king. <sighs> you guys can see. Uh, you boys always win. And that right, man. And uh, I'm glad you know a lot of fun facts about her. While well, I was over here trying to find something to drink. But, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. We love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this mug bang. Mm -hmm. Until then, guys. <laughs> Told you, let's see ya. <laughs> you off the camera. Thank you guys for watching. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Lisa. Bye! No one's leaving your pennies or something now. My car, my car.